terms of kind of managing work and um, home life balance, it's uh, it can be challenging. I mean, I think for me, it's about coming up with a routine for working hours and, and non-working hours. I've also com- sort of communicated that routine with clients. For example, I, I include my working hours in my email signature so that each week um, if I'm emailing clients, they can see when I'm likely to be online and when I'm not likely to be online. So whilst my working hours haven't necessarily reduced, they've probably increased, um, I kind of spread those out throughout the day rather than having that traditional sort of nine to five block. I stick to the routine that we work with office hours. Everybody continues to work office hours, takes their lunch breaks, the normal lunchtime breaks. I do go out for a run on a Monday and a Wednesday and a Friday, but I do that at half past seven in the morning. What the lockdown has encouraged me to do is be more regimented with my routine. So my days have been a lot more structured and focused, which has left them to be a lot more productive than they were beforehand. I always get dressed in the morning. None of this work in the pyjamas business. But other than that, what I try to do is stick to a routine as much as possible and um, try and stick to my normal working hours. So my work-life balance hack is don't put too much pressure on yourself. Understand what time you have available. Be open with, with your client base as well. Everyone's lives have been turned upside down and everyone ex- appreciates that things have changed. So it's just managing expectations of your clients and and really just don't put too much pressure on yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself.